Cobra Kai continues to impress us. It very rarely happens that a show's fifth season is as good as the first one. Although they're consistently producing amazing content, we still think the upcoming season can be the perfect end to the story. In this video, we'll be talking about actor Zolo Mary Duenia's shocking words about him wanting the show to end soon. He does make a lot of sense. Firstly, does Zolo want the series to end soon? Zolo Mary Duenia, star of Cobra Kai, explains why he feels the Karate Kid spin-off should definitely come to an end soon. Zolo has demonstrated a remarkable ability to convey the trip of Miguel Diaz. Cobra Kai Season 5, the most current installment of the show, features Miguel seeing his biological father and some conflict in his bond with Samantha. But by the time the story's over, he's in a good place as a dojo warrior and as a young man trying to find his place in the world. For the most part, the spin-off chooses happy endings for its main characters. Given the relatively ambiguous status of Cobra Kai Season 6, that could very well have been a deliberate decision. The cast and crew believe that there is still a story to be told, Netflix has yet to formally confirm a renewal, and the fans have a sneaking suspicion that the show may be coming to an end. During his appearance as a guest on the Big Thing podcast, Zola was questioned about the maximum amount of time Cobra Kai could last before deteriorating noticeably in quality. He replied truthfully that the show has one more strong season left in it. The actor argues that dragging on the show could mean that season 6 of Cobra Kai would be rated as amazing and season 7 as simply good. Overall though, Zolo seems to grasp that Cobra Kai should refrain from overstaying its welcome. Next, is Cobra Kai really ending? There is reason to argue for Cobra Kai to finish shortly if the show is renewed. The fact that the karate fights on the show frequently turn into these gigantic, mortally dangerous conflicts of rage has been made fun of by the show itself. Although it's admirable that the authors are well aware of it, the same winking trick can only be used so many times before it becomes a habit. With the hint of a worldwide competition called the Sakai Takai, Cobra Kai Season 6 does have the promise for thrills. Realistically speaking, the fans will get more than enough time to bid farewell to our favorite characters if the next season is a little bit longer. Unless it gravely misrepresents the characters and their intentions, a terrible season of Cobra Kai won't destroy the show reputation, but would be disappointing nonetheless. However, Zolo's correct when he notes it's always better to end a consistently good show early on a good note rather than dragging it until the creators have no choice but to end it. This strategy never ends well for shows. Take Game of Thrones as an example. The show had a spotless run and that eighth season not only dragged the show on but completely ruined its reputation among us fans. Moving on, an intriguing update. For fans of Cobra Kai, you might have to resume your karate training. Although season 5 of the Netflix series was released in September, we are anxiously anticipating season 6 to hit the dojo. Despite the lack of communication from the streaming site, Cobra Kai actor Ralph Macchio, also known as the Karate Kid, recently hinted at the show's potential return. He was questioned about the possibility of a sixth season of Cobra Kai in a recent interview with Us Weekly. Although he said he didn't know too much about the present situation, the popular drama, he did add that the actors and crew are confident that they would soon hear good news. Although the show hasn't been officially picked up, Ralph told the outlet that they have a deep belief that they'll be able to continue the show, let it evolve, and let it land when it's time. Even though it's not a guarantee, at least everyone has something to hang on to. But if a new season Season begins, what else might be in store? Ralph kept on telling Us Weekly that the writer's room might be influenced by fan feedback while determining the path for Season 6. If that's any indication, Daniel LaRusso, Johnny Lawrence, and the karate students will have a lot of wax on, wax off to do. Having said that, there's always the opportunity to investigate fresh plot lines. Fans never know what they will get next in Cobra Kai because the show frequently recycles characters from the film franchise, followed by who's going to be the big bad wolf. It's intriguing to think about how these individuals might expand upon their expertise and legacy after unexpectedly regaining control and stopping Terry Silver's evil plans. Speaking of evil plans, John Kreese, who was once again seized control of his own destiny by escaping from prison, will likely resume his role as the primary karate antagonist now that Silver appears to be in the hands of the government. Alicia Hanna, who played Terry Silver's primary assistant, Kim Daun, in Cobra Kai Season 5 is a deadly adversary in her own right. A wealthy Japanese karate instructor named Daun arrives to honor Silver's memory by helping American students qualify for the coveted international
international competition. As soon as she is introduced, her performance stands out for being violent, aggressive, and unstoppable. She is a formidable foe and a complex character with a lot of potential for later seasons, so we're very eager to see more of her in Season 6. Daun teamed with Kreese would be a force to be reckoned with. Can't wait to see how things play out from this point on. Now let's take a look at Cobra Kai's resident Romeo and Juliet. First up, are Miguel and Sam breaking up? Couples fight and then split up in every teen drama. We sometimes witness their reconciliation. Sometimes they move on. The group of teenagers is still engaged in conflict with one another in Cobra Kai. They have evolved as time has gone on. Sam and Miguel are one of these pairs. In the previous season, Miguel left everyone behind, including his lover Sam LaRusso, to reunite with his father. However, people began to wonder about Sam and Miguel's relationship when they saw the official teaser and saw them unwinding at the pool together. However, their relationship experienced a lot of ups and downs. Fans of the show were left wondering what would happen to them in the following season because of their partnership in the Season 5 promo. Despite seeing them working together in the teaser, most of us theorized that they'd break up given the ending of Season 4 and their collaboration in Season 5 would just be a friendly one. This theory did make sense at the time as both of the characters had proven themselves to be egotistical in the past seasons and the tension between them kept on growing. Secondly, what actually happened? When Season 5 starts, Miguel and Sam are as far away from each other as they can be. Miguel searches for his dad in Mexico, while Sam, back in LA, deals with the grief behind losing the All-Valley Championship. She goes through all these feelings alone due to the absence of Miguel. When Miguel does call, both the characters get into a heated blame game and the call ends abruptly. As they meet in person, Sam asks Miguel for a break, to which the latter agrees. No longer in a relationship at the moment, both the characters try their best to get along as friends, but awkwardness creeps in nearly every time, ruining the moment. Later in the season, Miguel gets frisky with another girl at a party that Sam witnesses and gets really angry. Before they have time to argue, the final showdown forces them to work with each other at many points. After being successful in defeating the big bad villain of the season, both the characters pour their hearts out to each other. Miguel apologizes and explains his point of view to Sam, after which they both reconcile, shocking the fans and all those who speculated that their relationship would end in disaster. Lastly, could things have been different? The sequence between Samantha and Miguel in the season one finale was discussed by the actress. She described the original scene's intent as well as the changes she made. According to her, the sequence in the season one finale, where Miguel tells Samantha, just watch what I do to Robbie, was initially a different scene. Sam simply broke down in tears and murmured, I forgive you, according to Mauser's account of the original scenario. Mary Mauser expressed her strong objection to the notion of forgiveness occurring so rapidly. The producers responded after she voiced her worry and told her to explain her idea. Her idea of the scene was the one they went with, which explains why the chemistry between these two characters is so good. The actors are given the freedom to change things to their liking. Well, that's a wrap for this video. When do you think the show could be concluded? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one, and we'll see you in the next one.